Joe, first I want to talk about Tuesday night. I could see the disappointment when you were subbed off. I guess it was one of those games where you felt like a goal was about to come for you. Yeah, no, you're right. Um, I thought the boys in that game, I thought to a man, I thought we were brilliant. Executed the game plan perfectly, both in and out of possession. And it was one of them games, yeah, where I felt like if I'd have been on to the last whistle, I might have got myself a goal. And especially, I guess, with the, the run of form you had been on in terms of goal scoring as well, how much of a boost did that give you to get those first two goals for Lincoln? Yeah, massive. Um, I mean, it took me a while to get that first one out of the way, but I think I found myself at times trying to almost work too hard to, to, to get that first goal, but obviously when I got that first goal against Exeter and then the one against Port Vale inside two minutes, no, I, I was full of confidence. And that must be a big thing, isn't it, as a striker, that when you join a club, whether that's permanently on loan, to get that first goal out of the way and to, to get that monkey off your back? Yeah, no, it, it, it's massive. I think, especially as a, a centre-forward, I think, obviously, the aim's goals and the hardest goal to get is that first one. And I think once you get that one, the rest will follow. Now, we all love watching your strike partner, Ben House, as well, and the work rate that, that he puts in, but we don't play alongside him. Talk to us about what it's like playing alongside someone like Ben. It's a dream, to be honest, because obviously his out of the ball, his off the ball work is um, second to none. I've said it in previous interviews, it, it's up there with the best I've seen. Like Not not only the best I've worked with, he's hands down the best that I've worked with, but he let alone off the ball, it's he, one of the best I've seen, to be honest. And nah, he, He's a dream, dream partner. And not too much in age gap between the two of you as well. So I guess, you, you, although he's maybe had a little bit more League One Lincoln experience, you, you can learn off each other and what you've learned at your other clubs. Yeah, absolutely. No, I, I, don't, I don't know how old Ben is, but I know he's not He's not too much older than me. But no, you're right. Um, this weekend, Stephen Edge, a game you're looking forward to? Yeah, absolutely. I think there's, there's no shine away from it. It's going to be tough. But we arguably, you couldn't come into it in, in better form. So... The boys, we're, we're confident and again, we um, we back ourselves and if we go there and execute our game plan like we did on Tuesday night, I'm sure we'll come up with three points. Yeah, the head coach talked after the game on Tuesday about that, especially that first 20 minutes and the excellence that you, you all played with. As players, did you feel that and do you feel that in training? There's just a bounce to your play at the moment? Mm, definitely. I think from back to front on Tuesday night, I thought we were brilliant. I thought the press... We got it nailed onto the tee, and then even when they did break the press, I think they, they, they never really looked like scoring at any point. Um, I have to talk to you about your headphones because they get quite a lot of attention on a, a pre match. I think they're the biggest headphones I've seen before. Yeah, I do. I get, I get quite a bit of stick for them, to be honest. <laughs> but, I mean, someone said to me, uh, I saw something on Twitter, and they were like, oh, he needs to buy himself some AirPods. And I was like, <laughs> well, if you educate yourself, they are AirPods, they're just AirPod Maxes. Okay, uh, and so what do you listen to? What what what's what's on the, the headphones while you're walking around pretty much? Because there's a real difference, isn't there? Some players like the headphones on and focus, others will just be chatting to one another, but you're very much a, a headphones well, on. Well, for me, I think it depends on the music in the changing rooms. Uh, I mean, if, it, if it's Bish, it usually is Bish. Um, I take my headphones off and I get involved there because Bish has got a good playlist, to be fair, but if it's Rico, sometimes it's Rico, so Port Vale away it was Rico, so headphones are on there, because his, his playlist is a bit washing. But for me, I, I listen to a bit of everything, you know. Um, country music, I like a bit of country music, yeah, Luke Combs, Chris Stapleton, a bit of that, and then there's obviously, you've got your rap music and stuff like that. And do you have it as a, uh, take your mind off the game that's coming up, or to try and pump you up, because I guess there's that two mindsets, isn't there? Yeah, for me it's definitely more of a, to pump me up, obviously, I listen to the country music on the way to the game and stuff like that. That's just to, to to relax me and just take me away from everything else. And then pre-game, it's more heavy rap music. You know? And if Rico is in charge, what is he putting on that you don't oh, like? I, oh, I, I can't even tell you what it is. <laughs> it's more heavy house party tune and stuff like that. It's just not, not unless I'm in that environment. That's not me. <laughs> and finally, just on uh, Luton, Mick Harford, who obviously was there on Tuesday. Yeah. I don't know if you were aware or not, I'm sure you were. Um, do you feel any added pressure when you notice somebody from your parent club there, or do you try just not take any notice of it? No, to be honest, uh, they don't tell me. They don't, they don't tell me when they're, t when they're turning up. So for me, it's just, it's just another game of football, isn't it? I, just, I, don't, I try to block out everyone that's there. Even Sometimes you use, you use the fans as motivation, but when someone like that is, is at the game, First of all, I don't even know sometimes. And second of all, when I do know, you just, you just carry on.